Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of my Massive Rush collection, which part 3 is just going to be about like the videos and DVDs and stuff they have, which I I don't have any of the VHS ones because there's kind of no point, but um, before I actually show you the uh, like all the Rush DVDs that I have, I want to show you the uh, Best Buy exclusive um, Time Machine Rush box. Um, my version of it, the box is kind of messed up a little bit, but that's alright. Um, the Best Buy exclusive of the Time Machine DVD, um, it was exclusive to Best Buy because it actually came with a, uh, shirt that says Rash on it, which is actually them, it's like a play on themselves where at the, uh, the intro for this tour, um, Alex is like a really overweight, like, scientist record producer guy or something like that and um Getty's character is Gershon and he owns a uh, like a sausage meat restaurant type place or whatever and there's like a really terrible polka band that's uh that plays on the stage um in his restaurant and there's like nobody in there except for like Alex and Neil and Neil's like a cop or something but um the band is called Rash instead of Rush, which is, you know, that's really the joke. But, um, this Rash, the Rash t-shirt that's in this box with the DVD is, um, actually, you know, just like a, uh, copy of the shirt that Getty wore on this tour and it said Rash on it and it was black. So, I mean, it's, it's really nothing special. It's just basically like something to go along with the tour, you know, like as like a, collector's item or whatever i've i've never even opened the shirt it's still in the plastic and i probably never will open it just to you know keep it as like an a collector's item in the box but that's basically what's uh in the box with the dvd um you know that's why the box is so big and it even says you know a rash t-shirt on the side right there but here's the rest of my dvds guys all right guys so this is uh the rush dvds i dvds i have this is uh once again the uh, time machine box that I showed you at the beginning um, this DVD is Rush Chronicles which is basically uh, a DVD of uh, pretty much every single music video they've ever done on one disc except for probably uh, I don't know maybe f from the very beginning all the way up until <sighs> crap I want to say like power windows maybe or um i forgot already um hold your fire i think it's from the, their very first album all the way up to hold your fire and then after that that's where the uh that's where the videos that are on this disc end but hey it's it's really not special it's just a collection of you know all their main music videos over the years from when they started up until like the end of the 80s pretty much um, this Rush DVD is actually on Blu-ray also, but I just got the DVD version of it because at the time I didn't have a Blu-ray player, but, um, this is basically a, uh, like a behind the scenes, uh, you know, like a documentary behind the scenes type thing of when they did, uh, 2112 and Moving Pictures, which is their two biggest albums. And, um... I think it was either after or at the same time that this DVD and Blu-ray came out. It was obviously obviously on VH1 Classic, which is why that sticker's there. But um, it's a pretty cool documentary. Um, if you're if you just have to have everything Rush and you want to know like lots of random things of behind the scenes stuff that have to do with those two specific albums, this DVD is it's something that you it, it's a must have. I mean. Pretty much anything for Rush is a must-have, but um, if you're looking something for a little something a little different that has to do with like documentaries and stuff for uh, Rush, this is a very good DVD to try to get your hands on. Uh, this is the Snakes and Arrows Live DVD, which is obviously just the Snakes and Arrows tour live. I mean, there really isn't anything that's special about it, but. Um, I actually saw them 
during the Snakes and Arrows tour and I still have my tickets which I will show you in the final part of my Rush collection videos which will be the next one because that's where I just show you all the random memorabilia and stuff from them I have but um really the only difference with this DVD is is like the intro and like the beginning videos of uh you know like Harry Satchel and what's that smell and just, if you don't know what I'm talking about you should just go somewhere else on YouTube and look it up because it's just it's hilarious whether you're a Rush fan or not I, I think it's great but yeah um, this is Rush and Rio I, I haven't watched this in quite a while it's only two discs I thought it was three or three for some reason but um, there's a uh, Boys in the Boys in Brazil documentary. Um, there's multi-angle versions of YYZ, O based Beta and uh, La Via Strangiato. Uh, hidden Easter eggs, and um, this probably is my favorite live DVD they have. Mainly just because of the fact that this is this live album and this DVD is really one of the integral things that made me become a massive Rush fan. Like, I, I bought this even before I started buying any of their albums, and I it absolutely grabbed me, and I just... It was one of the main things that made me just had to have absolutely everything from them. This is Rush Beyond the Lighted Stage, which is... I guess you could call it the Rush movie. And, um... It really is just like a really, you know, like a full-length film, just basically like the story of them, like when they were growing up and when they were, when they met and, you know, like the whole John Rutsey, Neil Peart thing and all that stuff. And it really is like a full-length film. And uh, it's actually two discs. Second disc is just like a lot of rare, like live performances and stuff from like when they first started and all that kind of business but um I definitely definitely recommend this if you're a, just a really big Rush fan <clears throat> this is R30 which is the uh, their 30th anniversary tour DVD and um, when the band turned 30 years old they decided to do a tour of it and uh, the set list is very, very long. And um, I don't remember if there's. It just has more, like, stuff from the 70s and just, like, all kinds of extra goodies and stuff. I love this. It says Easter eggs. Good luck, find them. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny, actually. And. The final DVD is Replay Times 3, which is Exit Stage Left, Grace Under Pressure, and The Show of Hands. And it's all the live shows of them on DVD, and this actually came with the audio version of Grace Under Pressure Live. So you can either watch the DVD or just, you know, listen to it like a regular CD, because that's what it is, it's just a CD, but... I know there's some Rush fans out there that really aren't big fans of a show of hands because it's just mainly like them touring like all their albums in the 80s. But I really, 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 really love a show of hands. That's probably my second favorite live Rush uh, album or DVD or whatever because it, it, just, it just shows them live like doing some of their different stuff that most people that don't really listen to Rush don't even really know about. Just all their stuff from the 80s with like all, you know, like the synthesizers and the keyboards and all that stuff. And even though the 80s era still really isn't my favorite era of Rush, I still think that Power Windows is probably one of their best, one of their best 80s albums. And Marathon and uh, Manhattan Project on a show of hands is just freaking fantastic. Well, guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed me showing you uh, 
the DVDs from Rush that I have and, you know, me just ranting about whatever ones I like and, you know, random stuff like that. But, um, stay tuned for part four because part four is the final uh, video in my uh, Massive Rush collection video, which uh, part four is basically just going to be like a lot of random memorabilia items and t-shirts and stuff like that so thank you guys for watching and subscribing if you have or haven't already and keep it heavy